and Sardokan's been around for at least a few, so pretty hyped there. Yep. All right, take the turn, giggle. <laughs> uh, the down in the bottom right of Sheila Reef, the orange Terran. It is Sir Doken. All right, and our token player from just in this tournament. No, I think there's like three or four of them. I'm just kidding. Uh, the red turn in the top left-hand corner of the map. It is Marauder King. So, early gas coming down from Sir Doken. And the third don't player. See her. Any sort of gas. Oh, yeah, I know, right? The shark. <laughs> Sheila. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so uh, walk me through this TBT, man. Anything crate? Nah, everything's standard so far. Yeah, we do see a little bit of differences. There was a barracks into a uh, refinery for Marauder King, so a little bit later gas there. Uh, likely going to be, you know, Reaper Expander, or maybe he's just going for a little bit later gas. Meanwhile, Sir Doken has opted for. Uh, the d gas first barracks and then a second gas so he'll definitely have the option uh, to go faster tech Marauder King will get up in here with this SCV and see this though so he will hopefully be able to plan accordingly yep oh I thought he was going to actually kill him man I know that's the unspoken TBT rule that you're not supposed to attack the one building the <laughs> barracks but he was breaking it there for a while man <clears throat> All right, so both of our players taking a second gas. Um, Sardokan drops the factory. I thought MK was going to take his expansion there, but it's like he decided better of it. Yeah, he just looks like he you know, opted for a little bit later of a gas. Uh, this SCV is being annoying. Going to go ahead and delay that uh, supply depot just a little bit. Marauder King having to do a little bit of a dance, even continuing to delay it, you know? So... Yeah. Oh my god, dude, this is GSL level GG. Oh, oh man, shit. he does actually end up picking up that but he will die unfortunately yep. all right so uh, marauder king drops down his factory as well it was a little, just a little bit later i think uh, because he wanted to wait to get that second gas as you kind of said uh and he lost an scv working on that bunker too so that's always extremely annoying but oh shit all the just guys are coming now what's up man i know right i know I was going to say, let us know who you're rooting for, but I think it's pretty apparent that we got an uh, overwhelming amount of just X fans in here. So, it tends to happen on the Nidus, but there are some great guys, so we allow it. So, this Reaper does get to come up here. We'll pick up one SCV, and I think it actually will uh, take the better fight here in this Reaper battle. Yep, picks it up. It's down to one shot left. So, just continuing to be annoying. We do see double marine production and a cyclone. Uh, an expansion come out of Marauder King. So taking a look back at Sir Token's base, he's gonna flip this. Was it Banshees or a Raven? I wonder. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm waiting to see. It's usually Ravens in the TBTs that we get to see, uh, but we've seen it, I guess, happen both ways too. So, oh, okay, it's gonna be a Raven. Uh, what do you think about the balance tweak that they're gonna do to him, man? Do you have any opinion on that or? Oh Jesus! You asked. I have no idea what it was. Sorry, oh, okay. I'm like way late to the balance patch. Oh no, it's all good. Uh, they're all the uh, they're only talking about it. It's one of those things where they're just announcing a decision before they actually do it. Uh, but they're discussing maybe making the auto turret uh, last longer but do less damage, I believe, or some shit. Yeah, I think that's how it was. So. Yeah, I'd be curious about the um, like the damage change about it or whatever. Yeah. But I, I think that's kind of fair. What for, they're changing it from where it is now, where it does like a bunch of damage, but it doesn't last very long. Yeah, or at least that's how I read the change. Maybe I'm wrong here because I'm trying to cast, observe, and talk about this shit. But I'm pretty yeah, sure right. that that was the change. Is that uh, they're just trying to tune down the damage a little bit and then la make it last longer. But hopefully, someone can chime in uh, with the actual version instead of just some some incorrect bullshit but i don't know man i think it, it does a lot of damage for sure but yeah i guess i've always been in favor of like this really unique idea it's just like just take the raven and like remove it from the get no aim no i'm just kidding <laughs> um no like we don't need that I, here for sure no anything you know that they want to experiment with it i think is is fine i don't usually play with ravens but man they're frustrating sometimes yeah. when you have to play against them. yeah absolutely um so getting back into the game now we do see uh, the Raven being built as we a tech lab on the factory for Sir Doken. A couple more barracks is coming down now as we're likely to see standard marine tank uh, and, you know, medevac Viking production there. Meanwhile, Adam Marauder King, he does have that natural down. Uh, not too saturated, though. So actually, yeah. neither player has it saturated yet. Yeah, he just got it down there. And uh, he's just going with tanks, too, for now. Oh, shit. 
Draven coming in, throwing down an auto turret. It's getting a couple SCVs, four of them fall before it's picked up. It's a pretty decent chunk of SCVs here this early on, man. I think that's why they're trying to address them. Not saying that it's OP or anything. Like, I don't uh, know anything about the balance decisions in this game, but... It specifically mentioned like so how fast it tear, how how fast they tear through workers. Or whatever. Yeah, no, it's, you gotta like insta worker pull or else you you lose a lot more than you probably should. You know, we do see that Raven making its way around the bottom side now, and Marauder King's army is making its way across the map. It's two. Uh, wow, actually, a tank and a cyclone, <laughs> marine and a medevac. So this is a very diverse push. Very cool. It has the potential to do a bunch of damage here, as there only is a small uh, group of units and a cyclone. So if this tank gets planted. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It kind of all comes down to the position of the tank. He's going to plant it just outside these rocks. That's usually the favor, uh, favorable position to put him. Oh, shit. It's actually going to get picked up. Oh, oh and it man. Lived. <laughs> yeah. So this was a bit one, uh, one sided once it actually came in here. MK's looking very strong here on this natural. Uh, so Dokken does have his tank planted up here on the high ground, so he'll be able to defend this, but not without losing his natural, which is extremely important. Yep. Well, not lose it, but you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, he is able to lift it. He does lose the mining time. He does have his workers tucked back here in the corner. Those haven't died yet, though, so he is losing a bunch of mining time. But he has kept stuff alive for the most part. He does find himself contained now, so he has to figure out a way to get down that ramp and bust out of this to secure that natural again. Uh, meanwhile, looking back at Marauder King's base, he's got that natural, uh, you know, saturated up a bit more now. He's definitely looking good. Got a small, you know, group of units back at home just in case any drops or anything like that come. Yeah. Man, it sucked to be these SCVs. You got to run through a tank line in order to get back to a safe zone. <clears throat> it's actually awkward how he is now. Because of this tank position, he can't really break out of his base without taking a lot of damage. And he can't really get those SCVs either. So MK's kind of got him in a really uh, nice position here. And the entire time behind this, his, his natural is just rolling in economy too. So, Yep. Oh shit, I Saved. thought he was going to load up for a drop over here on the side, but... He's got to just check in, making sure that there's no base or anything like that down. So Doken is in a tough spot. He's, you know, going to be able to hold his ramp pretty well. But uh, he's have, busted down here. It's going to be a hard time. There is a tank. Oh, he might have an opportunity here to nice. take that out while he's going to you know, run away. And now I think he actually will be that other tank trying to get siege. He'll get good shots. Oh. Yep. He'll definitely be able to break out of here. The bio picking up the rest of the tank, and Marauder King's forced to pick up the rest of his shit and go home. We got the Freedom Zone out here planted as well, so uh, Sardokan should be able to solidify his natural and get things rolling here. So it's not like he's extremely far behind. The interesting thing behind all this is the work account. Somehow Sardokan was just uh, SCVing behind that the entire time, and he's up 35 to 28. So it's not huge or anything, but uh, I don't know. It's interesting to me that he's somehow the player ahead in the economy once he gets that natural planted, so... Yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, we don't see... Let me make sure this is true. Yeah, we don't see a third coming down uh, from Marauder King. And I think we should are likely to see a third from Shadokan. He at least has an SCV over there to build it, so... Yeah, it looks like he's getting ready to take one. But uh, we'll have to see if he goes through it or whether or not he just builds up a bunch of units and puts on some aggression of his own. So um, He probably doesn't know what we know in that he's up 10 workers right now. He probably thinks he's behind because he was... Uh, Kind of held on there. Oh shit! So I, I, I'm assuming that that was another auto turret going down, getting seven SCVs. Jesus. Oh my god. That's huge it's... again, man. Like... No, it is. Yeah, it's just little, and it you know it adds up too. You don't really realize it. You know, it was three here, four there, or something like that. But the Raven just continues to poke in and be annoying. Yeah. So now he's lost 27 so far uh, throughout the entire, or 21. So that's pretty bad. Or at least, like you said, it, it starts to add up over time. So. Oh, I'll have to see, so... As you said, Sardokan takes that third, man. If he can hold on to that, he'll be in a much better position here. He's already up 13 SCVs, so he's starting to pull away here in macro for sure. Uh, and it's all going to be on Marauder King here to hold on now. Uh, Sardokan loads up a drop, too, and it looks like it's going to head into the main of Marauder King, but because he has um, this... Well, he'll have a turret there by the time he gets here, actually. Nice. Very well played from MK. Yeah, for sure, dude. Uh, he does have a drop coming out of his own... Uh, he does scan that third, so he's going to go over there and try and poke that. Um, yeah. As you said, there is a... Well, it's a sensor tower, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it was a turret. I was like, yeah, it's got to be a turret, right? But uh, you are correct, sir. Sensor turret. So that effectively will shut down that drop, or at least make it very uh, noticeable before it comes in. But yeah, just the sensor tower is enough to make him pull it back. So. Yep. So Doken a little bit out of position here for this drop from MK. Uh, these SCVs transferring to the third. Very nice timing on that, by the way. But they are very vulnerable here. He does shoot the CC 
Sergi though, immediately lift by Serdokin as he will be able to bring his units over. Meanwhile, the drop on in the main gets immediately cleaned up by MK. Nothing doing there. Because of that sensor tower, man. You've seen their eye on it. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking around. But yeah, that was very well played there from MK and holding on that drop. And, and uh, But unfortunately, he didn't get the third that he was going for, so... That sucks, unfortunately. And if you take a look at the supply, it's starting to spiral a little bit out of control. The economy's been in Sardokin's favor for a while now, uh, but the supply's starting to swing in his favor, too. It's now 100 to 77. So, I mean, he, he's playing very well, I guess, is all I'm getting at here. So. Yeah, man, 52 workers to 35. Definitely, you know, 46 army supply to 49. So yeah. it's pretty even in that regard. But the longer this game goes on, that economic advantage will start to favor Sir Doken. And we just don't see a third base down from Marauder King. Like, that's just not on the menu tonight, man. So yeah. Sir Doken actually, you know, this army from Marauder King, it's big and scary, and they probably will clash pretty evenly. Sir Doken it doesn't have to take this fight, but, you know, as I said, both their armies are fairly even. It could go down either way. But... Yeah, we'll have to see, man. They actually take this engagement here. I got to say that uh, Marauder King had the much better concave there, and it actually showed. So Doken's forces just kind of streamed into that choke point there and got absolutely destroyed. And now the supply count is looking uh, much, much better, 75 to 84. So uh, Marauder King almost needed that in order to stay in the game, and now he's looking really good. He should be able to pressure into this third and at least get it down, or at least you'd think. I'm just a Zerg, but uh, yeah, he does scan it, so that's definitely where he's headed. And now it's going to be on Sir Doken, uh to hold this. Oh, okay, he'll be able to hold it. I didn't know that the only thing he had in those medevacs uh, were a bunch of tanks, so if he gets those seized up... He'll hang on to it just fine. Yep, for sure. But, as, you know, kind of like I was saying, it, 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 risking that, especially when he has a third base. Okay, we do see a third base coming down now from Martyr King, but that third base advantage has really favored Sir Doken. So it's just like, dude, you know, if you play as the defensive player, um, you're going to have the economic advantage. You're going to be able to have more stuff. You know, you don't have to go out across the map and make damage. Happen. It's really on Marauder King being behind to have to be out on the map and, and find damage. And he really actually took a good fight there and started to equalize this this game up a little bit here. And this Doom oh, Drop. Man. Yeah, oh, that was so well played nice. from Marauder King. He flew over that third, saw that there were like five tanks down there. And the pilot was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep flying because fuck all that noise. And he actually came up here, as you said, with a pretty nice Doom Drop. And now that he has that tank, this is going to be really hard to push in for uh, Sudokin. So he stims his bio and it's just getting shredded, unfortunately, because of this tank. And this is pretty much uh, the definition of a Doom Drop, man. Now he just gets to start having his way with this production. And the tank is actually shelling the natural or the third down here, too. So that was very, very well played here from MK, dude. He needed to punch in at that exact moment and to that position, too. So, I mean, that was just, just nice. Yeah, so Sir Doken. Oh, and he knows GG is called, man. Yep. Marauder King. The very nicely played, playing from behind there, man. He was down that CC for a while. He needed to find, I wouldn't say like a miracle. It wasn't like he like Hail Mary yeah. needed it. You know what I'm saying? But it was very nicely done to get himself back in the game and find the damage he needed. Yeah, I feel like he definitely saw the opportunity and seized it for sure in avoiding all the mess that was going down at the third because I would have just dropped on all those tanks, lost all my shit, and then just GG'd out. So, I mean, he's obviously uh, a much better player than I am. That was, that was smooth there from MK. Yep, absolutely, man. Uh, but Sardokan was looking very well, too. There for the beginning, he had a commanding control of that game. So I think it was just a couple unfortunate engagements uh, into that choke point. But I think he has the ability to tie things up here easily. So, what's up, Maneliki? Nice to see you in here, man. It's been a while. Uh, the Wild Game, nice to see you, too. Uh, Eunice says, it's 4 a.m. here. I woke up to play the tournament, but instead I got disqualified because I thought I'm in the correct channel of all time. All the time. Oh. Sorry, man. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the chat channels, but sometimes Blizzard has issues with people just joining chat channels. We've kind of had that uh, problem more than once here in the past, so. All right, let's get down to it. Our orange Terran in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. Currently down one point in this best of three, but definitely has some strong macro and the ability to do this. Uh, it is Sirdokin. And his opponent taking a uh, pretty strong game one there on Abyssal. The Red Terran from Clan Just. It is Marauder King. We always got a couple of Just in the tournament, man. I love those guys. They're out here representing. I think we got like four or five of them tonight. I even saw Jordan uh, was playing. So that's pretty badass too. So uh, it's not really often that he's able to come out and make a tournament. So yep. pretty cool. I wonder how he's doing. We'll have to check in on the bracket uh, after. 
Well, I can actually tell you. Let's we see. have that technology right now, guys. No, I'm just fucking. I know, right? So, uh, looking into uh, this match while he's checking on that, the only very uh, big thing I see so far is the fact that Sardokan is already getting his second guess. So. It's funny that you mentioned that because guess who had to beat Jordan to get where he is right now? Oh shit! Which one of them knocked him out? <laughs> MK, MK, oh, team, team kill. Yeah, we're in. there's a just X team kill at the beginning of like every single tournament. It's actually sad how often that it happens. So, uh, yeah. Carter is saying that Vibbot needs to be updated. Oh shit! Yeah, it says it's still the grudge match. We had a really cool grudge match the other day, by the way. The VOD is up if you want to catch that. I thought it was pretty hype. Uh, it's only like 40 minutes because it was a ZVZ, but it was pretty badass. Uh, I'll have to update that afterwards, guys. Thank you for the heads up. Um, So, we do see a Reaper coming out of... I'll remind you after this game for that, by the way. But we do see a Reaper coming out of Marauder King. Reaper coming out of Serdokin. Factory down. Factory just now going down for Marauder King too. So very similar builds out of both these players. Yeah, the only difference there was the Marauder King took his second guess just a little bit later again. I think that's the second time he did it. I think it's just a little bit of a variance in their build, but it always ends up in, in, in about the same place. This is pretty much exactly what happened last time. Uh, but the difference is Marauder King saw that um, he dropped down that early factory and threw up a bunker immediately. So. Yeah, man. Feels like he's going to up in the bracket. Us. Thank you. Yeah, no I just got it like a copy to the clipboard now, so I'll post that as many times as necessary. Yeah, but <laughs> oh, Carter coming in with the logic. What do you say? He said uh, you can always click the sign up link below the stream. Hey, there you go, guys. All right, so That's the sleeper's like, gonna. Like he's been here. Yeah, <laughs> he's been around a time or two, Kappa. Um, but the sleeper's gonna be able to jump up in here and actually. Oh, wait, Ooh, a little too. dance there. Yeah. All right. Play. Sure, man. But there is a Marine now for Marine King. Or, sorry, uh, Marauder King. Jesus. We got Marine King flag. <laughs> yes. Out of retirement, man. No, In but, a flat uh, diamond tournament? That's fucking hard. I know, right? Well, that seems a little unfair. <laughs> but that extra Marine will help Marauder King uh, be able to shoot away any Reapers. We do see a second Reaper making its way across the map. But uh, probably is he... Okay, no more after that. He's building a tech lab. He's going to flip the start port with it. Raven? Toxic we'll Masculinity see. says, I got knocked out, but it's okay because I had a blast. I'll be here next week. Awesome, man. I didn't know you were playing. Let us know next time, and we'll get you casted. Uh, normally, we cast people their first time around in the tournament. So, uh, what really is cool your to catch a game. What is your name in the the challenge bracket? Sorry, some people's names don't match up, so I was curious who you were. But that's awesome that you showed up, man. Thank you. Yep. Thank you um, for playing. And in the game, Sardokan again going with that really, really early. Well, not early because we see it around this time in TVT, but he's definitely getting out that Raven uh, much more earlier than MK. And I think it's for that auto turret harassment again. So uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that as it's almost finished up. It's, you know, come over in here to the main. There's really nothing back there to defend it either. So, oh, I guess the, the lib won't be out by then either. Man, it might be able to find at least seven kills, dude. That's my guess. That's your guess? Seven kills, Giggle. Heard it here, man. Dude, auto turrets are nasty, man. If you don't see him coming... They are. They, they are definitely nasty. And I don't know, man. What's interesting is Serdokan uh, was in a much better position. You know, had three bases way earlier that last game. But um, just that Doom Drop was able to come in at an angle that, that just kind of sealed the fate of that game. And I, and I wonder if this one's going to open up the same way. Yeah. You know, it, it's TVT is something where you can definitely be ahead and, and be in a good position. But somebody, you know, moving their units or, or Doom Dropping you. What's up? Fl oh, flying over. They yeah. will see each other. All right, Great. they got more important shit to do, each one of them. Yeah, they're like, all right, I'm going to do harassment. Uh, so am I. All right, here we go, dude. I said seven were going to fall, but there's an extremely good SCB pool, and he's only going to get three. I'm an asshole. Oh, four, actually. So that was that a good seven? pull from... <laughs> all right, all right. You got me. Uh, but no, I think that was a pretty good pull there from MK. He definitely saw it was coming because of that Liberator and was much more prepared for it. Uh, and then on Sirokin's side of things, we have a Liberator up in his uh, base, but it didn't get any SCBs. So, just stopping yep. the mining time, I guess, is pretty significant, but killing him is better, so. It definitely is, man. Liberator going to reposition around here to the natural. There's not too many SCVs down there either. Uh, meanwhile, this Raven just chilling out here. Uh, Marauder King is going to bring that same... It's a similar push to what he did in that first game uh, with two Cyclones this time, but still one tank. And I got to say, man, this is a very oh interesting, strong pressure push. What's up? No, I just looked at it. Yeah, that's pretty significant, man. I mean, really, the only thing here from Sudoku to hold it is just this tank up here on the high ground. So I guess the Cyclones will be able to make pretty quick work of that. Oh, actually, the Freedom Zone is going to come down right on top of the tank. 
Oof, almost got it too, man. As soon as he gets that tank down, he pretty much gets to have his way here with this natural. So, as you said, this push from MK is looking very, very strong here. Do you think Sudoku yeah, holds or? I don't think so. No, yeah. look at what he has. Yeah, exactly. No like, there's it's not no much here in the way. He, he, a little bit of an over SCV there, or whatever you want to call it. And there's just, you know, not not much here at all to hold this. So uh, he's gonna lose his natural. Maybe he'll be able to. Okay. 